When you have subtraction, you have division. Please do not say, oh, I have two logarithms. Cancel them out. Because that rule only applies when they're on opposite sides. And it's an it's isolated logarithm equals an isolated logarithm. And they both have a base of x. Right? That's it. So don't just say, oh, I'm going to cancel out the logs. We know that if we have a logarithm, same base, and I'm subtracting them, I can condense that to log base 2 of x plus 4 over x minus 3 equals 3. Cool. Now, yes? It only works when they're all the same. It only works when they look like this. Okay? I don't have this problem didn't look like that, right? So now I subtracted them, so I get this. All right, so before, we used the logarithm equality property, right? We undid the logarithms. Now we don't even have a logarithm on both sides, so we can't do that. So what was the other way we learned how to solve logarithms? If you can't use the logarithm equality property, you can also solve for a logarithm by converting exponential. to exponential. So let's convert to exponential. 2 cubed equals x plus 4 over x minus 3. Right, OK. So therefore, that's 8 equals x plus 4 over x minus 3. Remember, 2. Oh, I erased it. I think it converts to exponential. Right. There you go. I don't know. Oh, we don't need an, oh, I don't know. I don't know why I wrote parentheses. All right, so now, how do you get rid of a denominator? You can always multiply. multiply. So if we just multiply by x minus 3 on both sides, as long as I do that on both sides, my equation is not going to, my equation is still going to be equal. But now x minus 3 divided by x minus 3, that divides to 1. Then I can apply distributive property here. So I get 8x minus 24 equals x plus 4. Subtract the x, 7x, add the 24. 7x equals 28, divide by 7, divide by 7, x equals 4. OK? So that way, now we're using the quotient property, and we're using um, converting it to exponential form, which you guys need to remember. All right, one last problem, and I swear I'll stop.